This video will go over the Kendrick Glennon Seminary Learning Management System, Advanced 360, how to get access and how to use the program. When you first start at the seminary, you will receive an email message when you set up your new email to set up your Advanced 360 account. So, when you get the email, it will look like this. It will say, Welcome to Advanced 360. Um, and then you can sign on to create your profile and set up your password. If you don't see the email, contact Patrick Iver, uh, Patrick Iver at Kenrick.edu, and he will help you set up your account. So when you get the email, we'll select this link, and it's already got a username set for me. You don't want to change that, just leave it the way it is. And then we'll want to set up a password. So I will put in a password. It'll have me retype my password. Uh, make sure your first name and last name is accurate. Um, you can read the terms of service, and then once you read that, you can check mark that box. Uh, you can go ahead and upload a profile photo if you want, or you can do that at a later time. And then we will click Save Account and Log In. Once that's done, I'm logged in here as a student. So now that we're logged in, we have alerts. These are alerts that an administrator will post um, if there needs to be any um, announcements. Uh, if you scroll down, you have personal alerts. You can see if you have new messages, um, items on your calendar, or any uh, unread posts or comments for a course you're in. One of the first things you'll want to do is click on the My Profile button on the left-hand side. In here, you can um, set up your student profile. Um, first thing you'd want to do is edit your photo. So you click Edit Photo. You browse. And then um, find your photo. And we'll just use this image here for now. And then click Submit. Once that's uploaded, it should display here. It's, it doesn't seem to be working right now, but um, we'll go ahead and move on from there. The next thing you'd want to do is edit your bio. So you can type a brief, uh, some brief information about yourself here and uh, submit it uh, that other people can see on Advanced 360 um, within the Kenrick uh, Seminary groups. And... Um, you can also edit account info, so you can enter more information here if you'd like. So once you have that set up, um, we'll go back to the home screen by clicking on the home button. And also on the left side, you have your ePortfolio. So if you click on your ePortfolio, you can um, set up your start setting up your ePortfolio. So you can edit your intro and enter a brief introduction about yourself um, and then you can basically add information about yourself in each one of these categories so if you want to add your education you click add um, enter a school name the dates attended and then you can enter your major minor studies and other information that you would like to enter um, so that's something you should start working on and update as you need to um, you can also um, edit your settings and make it visible to the public, or you can make it visible only to the users on this network. Um, if you want to make it available to the public, you'll want to put in uh, a name here for the URL, and that's basically a URL you can give people to access your public portfolio. Um, so once you have that set up, you can view your public portfolio, and see what it would look like on the internet, um, viewing it in a web browser. So we'll go back to the home. Um, so that's the main part of the left panel that you need to know about. The next part we want to go over is at the very top of the screen, these different buttons and how to start using the program. So um, before we get into that, I just want to go over how to get back to Advanced 360. 
you can always um, get to Advanced 360 Portal by going to our website, kenrick.edu, select the KGS Community Tools and Links, and then here you'll find um, an Advanced 360 link. And it basically takes you to advanced360.com slash Kenrick. So you can also bookmark that site. So we'll go back here. And um, the first thing we want to look at is the mailbox button. So um, just like you get private messages from, say, Facebook or some type of social networking site, you can also get private messages within Advanced 360. Um, private in the sense that they're not sent through your email. Um, you will get, you can get email alerts, but um, the messages are basically sent through the Advanced 360 system. So if you have specific questions in a course for your instructor, you can use this area to read and send e basically messages within the program. So that's something you want to check often. Um, you can also see that you'll have personal alerts when you have a new message waiting down here. Um, but if we click mailbox, um, you can see right now I don't have any messages, but they would show up under here and you just click on them to read them. Um, to compose a new message, you click new message here. Um, enter the recipient's name. So if I just start typing the first name or the last name, the person will pop up. Select them, enter a subject, and then enter your message. And you can also upload attachments and click submit. And then when that sends, it will have sent a message to myself. And you can go to your sent box and see when the message was sent. Um, the next section we want to look at is communities. Communities are basically groups, kind of like a social network within Advanced 360. If you click on communities, everybody should be an Office of Instructional Technology community. If you click on that, this is a page I set up for IT resources. And um, basically, you'll see I'm the administrator. You can contact me here. You can view my profile. Um, everybody is a member that either works here or is a student here. Uh, this is just a brief description that you'll see in any community about what the community is about. And you just click on resources. And here I've provided different resources. So if we click on IT documents, you'll see that there's resources for setting up your email on your iPhone, uh, equipment checkout form. So you can download these by clicking on them and then uh, saving them to your computer. The next section we'll go over is courses. So some of the instructors will use Advanced 360 for their courses. They may put their syllabuses online or they may use it um, with more features such as discussion boards or Dropbox, things like that. So if we go into courses, you'll see um, your term um, and then the courses underneath it. Right now I'm just using a, uh, a course I'm working on uh, that I enrolled myself in. So if I go into this course, which you'll have either one or more courses, uh, you just click on it. So now I'm in the course. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you read the description of the course, and then you can download the syllabus. So under syllabus here, you click on 